And then when you get on with those 10s, go straight into this. We'll take that dribble out. So, rocking back to the uh, 10. And then once we get done with those, we'll go between the legs and the behind the back. Uh, What's up everyone? I hope you're doing good out there. Thank you for coming through to check out another video. And this one comes to you from the Leech Lake Reservation in Minnesota. I planned a weekend trip to visit my boy Brady to catch up, kick it, check out his home, and unwind a little bit. Being that basketball is king on the reservation, me, Brady, and his daughter Skylar were able to get into their local gym and get a workout in. Skylar is just getting started with her basketball journey, and she has what it takes to go far. And plus she showed a really great work ethic while training, and we're just gonna have to keep an eye on her. She has a really bright future ahead. Basketball is big on the res and it's a way to connect and link up with others from all over. It's a way of life for many that come from different walks. So it's only right to start this trip off with a great workout. Fortunately for us, we pulled in and managed to beat one of the few snowstorms from this winter. But nonetheless, we move with the elements and it makes way for a cool little hunting trip. Spoil alert, we didn't shoot anything, but we did hear some deer running past us, but just wasn't in our sights. As a boy from the south, the experience alone was worth it. We did about a light mile trek through the snow and woods to a tree stand Brady and his brothers used to hunt. This was actually my first time posting up in one of these things. How they use a tree stand is one person sits in it and the rest of the group will walk through the bush and push everything towards a shoot ready to take the shot so funny story about this in our group we went out with me Brady my cousin Miranda Brady's brother and the pops so they told me when I'm up there I'll hear the deer coming before I see them so listen for any tree branches or leaves and stuff like that breaking and get ready because it'll happen fast so I'm up there for about 30 minutes ready when I finally hear something and out of the back of the bush I see an orange vest come creeping out and it's Brady's brother Clinton asking if I had seen anything nope just you my boy so each night we ended the day by getting nice and toasty in this dope little sauna that Brady and his family built. They use an old wood stove to heat it up and this thing gets pretty hot. It's like a modern time sweat lodge in there. They use the cedar in the water to pour on the rocks to intensify the heat. The best part of this was not only the healing properties, but all the talks we had within our sauna sessions. We Native Americans have a voice and I feel like there's an awakening amongst our tribal communities and together we can tell our version of our story to continue the healing process and moving forward together. These three days that I spent out there wasn't enough time, but it was just enough time for me to see that we are all fighting the same war, just different battles. It was enough time to feel the love and welcoming nature of Brady and his family. So I wanted to give them another big Mado, thank you, and I'll be back out that way soon. So there you have it. Thank you for listening to my story, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Like always, peace, love, and I'm out. Later.